Hi there, and welcome to the next video tutorial with My Memory Suite version 4. Version 4 is the latest release of My Memory Suite and is available now at MyMemories.com. I'm Lisa, and I help host the Facebook page and blog for My Memories. Today, I'd like to share a fun new feature that's available with the upgrade in version 4. It's called Photo Tiling, and this feature is super easy to use and with a couple of quick clicks can give your next page a fun new look. Let me show you how it works. To start with, I'm going to select a photo only layout that's available over to the left hand side in your resource gallery. There's a little tab here that uh, looks like a little photo only layout and that's where you'll find all these different options that you have to choose from. Um, it's a great way to start uh, sort of in between a pre-designed page and a start from scratch page because it gives you the photo boxes already laid out for you and ready to just drop your photos into. But what I'm going to show you today is a new feature that's added with version 4 that makes these even more uh, interesting to use. So I'm going to click and drag this layout right onto the page. And what that does is give me the photo boxes already in this configuration. If you selected any of the other options, that's what would be uh, added to your page. Now, um, there's a couple of new features that you can, a couple of ways you can use this new feature. And I'm going to show you a few um, things that you can do with it. Now, um, previously, um, remember that you could always use these photo only layouts to drag your pictures right into uh, on your page. So if I were to select this particular picture, it would add the picture to the layout, but you would only see whatever um, happened to show in it with this particular um, piece of the photograph. Now remember with the cropping tools that are on the control panel, you can adjust what's shown in the uh, box very easily. But what I'm going to show you today is a fun new way to use these photo only layouts. Now, um, if you're familiar with the grouping options that are available in my memory suite, this is just an additional step that you can use that feature in addition to the photo tiling feature um, together. So I'm going to click um, and drag to highlight all of the boxes on the page. You can also go up to arrange and select all or control um, A or command A to select all the boxes on the page. And then what I'm going to do is group them together by using command or control G or also you can go up to uh, arrange once you have them selected and, and choose group from up here. But I'm, what I'm mainly doing is just grouping them all together. Whichever way uh, you decide to do that, that's all you need to do. So select them all, hit Command or Control G, and that will group them all together. Now what you'll notice is when we select the picture and add it to the boxes, it will select all of them and add the same photo to all the boxes in the different areas that um, that you see. So now it's sort of pieced, um, so it looks like I've got three separate pictures, but what I really did was add one simple image. Um, you can still uh, move the boxes around, you can still add shadows um, like you can with everything. You can add mats to them as well. Let's change that to black so it'll show up a little bit better on my black and white pictures. And um, it just gives you a fun new way to add kind of a cool look to your pages without doing a lot of extra work. Now, once you ungroup them by hitting uh, Shift Command G or Control Command G, or excuse me, Shift Control G, or also the ungroup option if you have them all selected, then you can take each individual picture and crop so it's maybe a little bit better fit. Um, just to adjust them up a little bit more depending on what you're trying to look for. But that's just a fun way to uh, to add a lot of in interest to your page in a, in a quick little way. Let me show you um, with another, um, let's see if this will work. Let's select another picture and just give you a, an idea. Whoops, I have to remember to group them first. So remember, select them all, Command G to group, and then add your picture. Now obviously it's going to take a certain picture for a certain layout but by playing around with it you really are able to uh, to kind of get a custom look. So I'm going to ungroup these and then I'm going to choose this particular one. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. This should be fine because this picture is a pretty high quality. And then I'm going to crop so you can uh, add out a little bit. And then you can see that you can get kind of an interesting look um, with it still being kind of the same image but different pictures. Now, um, one, I'm, one thing I'm also going to show you is a fun new way to use this particular feature as well. I'm going to go ahead and just add 
a number of background papers from one of the kits that I happen to like in the shop. Um, this is called a Beautiful Day Pack from Crazy Four Monograms, and it has a lot of bumblebees in it. And if you, anyone that knows me knows I love uh, things with bumblebees in them, so I am going to choose, uh, let's see, just five or six, or maybe seven background papers from this particular kit. Um, I'm remembering that I'm I'm on the background papers tab and I have them added as a photo object. Make sure this box is clicked or it won't work um, because then it will just add them as background papers and you can only have one background paper selected per page. So remember to go under your uh, background papers and click to add as a photo object. Then I'm going to go back over here to the photo only layout tab and I've got six different pages. So what I'm going to do is find a layout that has six different images, uh, boxes laid out for me. There's five, one, two, three, four, five. Um, I think they're in order um, according to how many images they have, um, but they're, they're sort of in categories as well. So um, come down until you have as many background papers as you have selected. This one has six, so I have six papers. Now what I'm gonna do is click on that and drag it onto my layout. And then what you'll see is it kind of pulls all of the background papers that were already on my page into those photo only layout boxes. Now, um, one reason this is kind of fun to do is because sometimes it sort of gives you an inspiration after you've started kind of with the kit that you want to use, but you don't know quite what to do with it. Um, it makes it an easy way to go ahead and add uh, all that together. Now, if I were to select all of these and then group them, Remember that our groups are easily adjustable size-wise, or um, you can rotate them, move them around the page. Um, it gives you an easy way to make adjustments to the group as a whole um, without making you know, adjustments and changes to each box. It keeps everything in proportion and everything in the same ratio to the other items on the page. Just makes it an easy way to deal with the group. Now, if you wanna add shadows, you can do that to the group, and you can add mats while you still have them grouped, which makes it easy to uh, to make all of those changes at the same time. I'm gonna make my line pretty thin because those boxes are close together. So uh, that gives you a way to add just some fun little mats to your page, um, pretty quick and easy. The other thing you can do is select a photo only layout that covers almost the entire page. I'm gonna add this one real quick here. And then I'm gonna go back over to my background papers and I'm gonna select this uh, page that has the polka dots here. Remember, I'm going to need to group them all. So Command G, Control G, um, Arrange, uh, Group this way. Just make sure that they're all selected. You can select all, then group. Um, very easy to do, whether you wanna do it with the um, keyboard shortcuts or the uh, top menu options, it's very easy to do. Now, once they're all grouped, I can take a single background page background paper, excuse me, and add it to all the boxes at the same time, which will give me one background paper that has covered all of the, um, the images, spaces, photo boxes that I have on the page. So I'm gonna add shadows uh, again, and then I'm gonna add a nice thin mat. Let's uh, make this one black too, because the black just shows up a little bit better when you don't have a background paper on your entire page. So there you can see it gives you a nice way to, to do a mat layout and then it's very easy to go over and add photo boxes on top of uh, these images that are already selected, already added to your page. And then you can easily, like we've uh, talked about many times before, you can add pictures to those additional photo boxes. Um, it's, it's just a couple of fun ideas, uh, just a couple of things that you can do with that new photo tiling feature that makes quick and easy work of creating a new scrapbook page, um, sort of from scratch, but sort of with a little bit of help. So it just gives you a, a quick and easy way to add some fun um, dimension to your page, another layer to your page, uh, makes quick work of coordinating pages when you've selected more than one um, background paper like we did in this particular example, um, allows us to use a lot of different images um, from the kits that we love, um, and then by adding, you know, remember you can also just drag your pictures right onto the layout as well. So it makes it uh, easy to, uh, to use. 
Now, if you wanted to remember that the shape features are already uh, available there for you, and remember that um, we also have, once we've ungrouped these, where they all act as individual items, we also have the rip paper function that uh, you know you can you can give your paper a little bit more interest to. And this one has a shadow on it, so that's going to uh, give us a little bit of look there. But anyway, so that is an option that you can use uh, to give your page just a little bit of different interest, um, a little bit different look. Um, use a couple of papers, use, a, use one single paper, use one single photograph, use bits and pieces of a photograph. All of those different options are available for you. Remember, if you have any questions or need additional information, please feel free to shoot me an email at lisaj at mymemories.com. And be sure to check out the blog for the new uh, series that we're doing called My Memories Project 2013 Cover to Cover. And what we're going to be doing throughout the year, we're going to be doing uh, webinars, some tutorials, um, some page help layout ideas, all of those kinds of things. There's a complete um, listing about it on the blog right now. Be sure to check that out. There's also a Facebook page group set up for that particular thing and all of that information is available on the blog and has been sent out in the newsletter. So if you uh, have any questions, just let us know. Otherwise, we'll wrap this one up for today. Wish you a happy scrappy day and we'll see you on Facebook. Thanks very much for your time. Have a great day.